Hello friends, uh, I quickly uh, explain how to resolve the course policy exception. Like uh, you are accessing from your website to different domain uh, web API from JavaScript and Anna. so that is a cross domain. So we will get this kind of exception. Access to XML HTTP request at uh, from origin for has been blocked by course policy. So no access control yellow origin actor is present on the request. So my web API I have uh, developed in uh, .NET web API core. So I am accessing that API from the Angular JS. So I quickly show that code. This is my service web uh, Angular JS service. So this is my web URL. So my web API is running. So I am accessing from this website, from this port 200. So as it is suggested, access to uh, at uh, 500 uh, API from origin has been blocked for 4200 has been blocked by course policy. So I will explain how to enable that. So if we go that in the dot net uh, MSTN website, enable cross origin request in ASP and web API 2 so we have different ways we can enable that I will explain one way now so what is same origin so two URLs having same origin if they have identical schemes host and ports so that is the same origin so that two URLs have the same origin so these are the same margin so if you want it so that is fine these URLs have different origin than the previous two so example dot net so and the port is different so these are all different regions so that is the same so cross origin ratio sharing so I, for the introduction this to demonstrate the cross origin ratio sharing support in ESP and web API we will start by creating two host and web API control and the one other column because two applicants are hosted in different domains, Ajax request from web API request cross origin request. So, so it mentioned web services is in uh, uh, the domain and client is another. So we are trying to access these two. To that policy, it is has been rejected. So that is the reason. So I will show you how to enable course. So we have three ways. There are three ways to enable course dot net core. So one is middleware using named policy and default policy using endpoint routing use enable course attribute. So as it suggested using enable course attribute with the name policy provides a finest control in the limited endpoints that supports. So as it suggests, I will go will go for the enable course attribute. Um, so enable course with the attribute so we just need to add enable course suppose we can add the control level action level so i will go for action level uh, instead of providing kind of full control to full control access apply the name and policy to only those endpoints that require course provides a finest control so as per example so we will just need to add enable course so So we just need to add and provide one meaningful name. So let me go and add. So this is my controller. So I am trying to add this to this. So for this you need to dot net core you get package course cross origin resource sharing you get package you need to install that so let me go and install so i am just giving this name so this is meaningful 
so if you don't to add the core library uh, course type library dotnet will automatically add it for you so this is the library it is using microsoft is dotnet course dot course cross origin visual sharing so if we so it will if it doesn't add by default if we add after adding this uh, attribute so dotnet will ask you to do you need to install that if you click the say it will get installed this this library for you so after this this is the first step first we need to add the attribute after that we need to go and update our uh, update our middleware with the uh, desired courses so let me go and add that in uh, my startup so here i need to add that policy So let me see what is that. Let me see exact code. So it should go like this. So it's already built in, so it's not required. Name service, okay. Maybe do it different, okay. So I have, uh, so this is the another step. I, we need to enable, add the course policy option to our middleware this is not required i'm not going to use so here we need to specify so in uh, in collection we need to specify the different policies so option that add policy one here you need to specify the origins so what origin what is the origin so from where it is getting called so uh, so my app is uh, this one so i need to specify it here So this is the second step. So once we also once this is done, so once the my service done, then I need to come to configuration and add my use my course use course. So this is the these three steps is enough. So first we need to enable the course to our control and we need to add the required code into our middleware to use that policy so this is enough let's see that so let's build that so my build card succeeded let's see let me go and refresh my i will see that whether it's working or not Seems this is stop. Let me run once again my send. So this is working fine. So let me go and refresh that. So this is my initial let me go so after I update my service so I should get that result back so if you observe this there is no issue I can able to communicate so I can retrieve I am retrieving the data this information from the web API so guys you understand right how to enable Resolve the cross origin issue sharing in web, web API.net code. So, this is our first. You need to add that uh, 
attributes to or desired control enable course after that we need to update our um, middleware with the required code uh, we just need to add the course policy in service and we need to add if we need to use that course into configuration so this within simple three steps we can able to uh, uh, overcome the uh, same origin issue thank you guys have a nice day please keep watch and share your ideas thank you very much